I'm General Blaze. What's going on, General Blaze? And we are reviewing. We could review The Wedding Ringer, starring Kevin Hart, Josh Gad, Katie Cuoco, Sweeting, and Avion Crockett. And it's directed by Jeremy Garlic. Garlic? Garlic? I'm sorry if you butcher your name. Um, you're gonna have to speak out because there's a ton of people. We're in line for American Sniper, which is a two-part review, by the way. It's a double movie, so yeah. it's gonna be a good Richard Roper did it. Richard Roper did it. <laughs> uh, tell us what this movie's about, The Wedding Ringer. The Wedding Ringer, essentially, it's about a man who's planning to get married to uh, someone that he soon uh, loves him. And he doesn't really have any friends. I mean, and you'll learn about that later on in the movie, why he does it. And so he's trying to figure out, oh man, I need to get the best man, I need to get some groomsmen. And that's where Kevin Hart comes in. He's, he plays Jimmy Callahan, otherwise known as Big Mitchum, as Doug, played by Josh Gad. Interesting, and now we have the, ins and he has to learn to pull this off in 10 days. What's it called? The Golden Tux. And, well, before seeing this movie, we got a, t like I said, when we promoted this tweet, Jeremy Garalek himself favorited our tweet. Which is pretty cool. And Jeremy, if you're listening to us, we enjoyed you, your, you enjoyed your job. movie, Doug Dub. Uh, it was kind of funny throughout, and I was expecting the chemistry between Gad and Hart was great. It was great. Awesome. They were great like to like screen two, together. It's like two great comedians. Yeah, and also kind of reminds me of this one time you had a wedding service that didn't do some self. I, it was, yeah. A bit flawed. I wanted to let you know that there is a service that I do uh, as far as groomsmen for many of y'all who haven't found any. Uh, I do any for any wedding, so I'll let you guys see who they are. Really, dude. Really. Man, you made my night. I'm just gonna have a couple more with my wife after three months. To what you, what after he did, she. This dude, to send me off, he gets so drunk, he tells my wife's mom that he would love to sleep with her. And he said to the dad, to my father-in-law for three months, what I'm pretty sure, uh, that he ain't good enough for her. <laughs> I give you a star and a half. Probably a half a star. <laughs> Shit, man, you need to find, you need... I was one of the victims of J Colonel Jerry Sanders' best man services. I did it just because I needed desperate for best man help because they were in Cabo for some reason, but you know what? Man, his services fucking suck. I mean, what the hell? I mean, he freaking sent us, he sent us to a desert in the middle of nowhere and then I woke up one night with my pants down and on the eve of the wedding, my wife got, gave me shit for whom for thinking I was cheating on her, but really I wasn't. All because of him, and he nearly set him on, set my bride, my wife on fire. Ah. Oh, if I see him, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Uh, so, as far as great reviews, um, look forward to your next wedding. So, we've gotten some unsatisfied customers, but hey, it's not our fault. We do the best that we can. If you don't like what we are, then don't service us. Um, so, definitely look for us on Facebook. Uh, we'll definitely be looking. Hey, asshole! You burned my mom. You burned my bride. I'm gonna come kill your ass. I gotta go, guys. Get back here! Uh, you didn't tell me Aaron Paul, sir. You served Brian Cranston in Aaron Paul's wedding. Well, Aaron Paul was pleased at the beginning. Fan factor. Well, the review, that review said otherwise. Oh, well. Anyways, however, this movie... Good thing you're a reviewer. Uh, yeah, this movie's hilarious. You check it out. It's kind of rich, you know. There's it a is, scene involving a dog and Josh Gad. Yeah. And let's just say... Let's just say he's not pretty. I'll never, I'll never put peanut butter on a dog. Peanut butter on my dogs again. No, not that way. Then we get off the spoon. But... Uh, okay. Anyways. Yeah, and, but of course it does kind of slow a little bit here and there, and someone, Kelly Cuoco is, <laughs> all right. But overall, what would you give this movie? Overall, I'd have to say nine out of ten. 
I really liked it. Um, I just like, I missed the beginning. But... It wasn't that much, though. He was late, but he made it nonetheless. And it's good to be here, but it's, I would say, definitely watch. a must watch. Definitely a must Check watch. Check it out. It's actually, I give it like a 8.5, a 9, a 9, 2. Um, hilarious movie. It loses points for the slowing down and Kaylee Cuoco, but overall it's funny and it's also kind of full of heart times. It does. It, it, it you will like most parts you'll it kind of gives you attached to the character part of the background. And that's what's good. It ties you into the character lives and how things come about and the ending is the ending is pretty awesome. Yeah, there's a Jorge uh, Garcia from Lost is in it and uh, they even throw in a lost joke here and there. Which is which I didn't get it, and then he told me about it. I was like, oh, now it makes sense. Yeah, just, and you'll know when you see it. Um, anyways, we're here right now about to see American Sniper. Hopefully that review is about to come out. And uh, before we start this next review, we want to discuss something. On a match of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, uh, on Kill Confirmed, I believe it was on Biolab. Yeah. Uh, I was promoting it, and, uh, and I mentioned him, and, well, he kind of somewhat lost his cool, and I was like... And we were on a public channel too, we weren't in a party. So, what do you say? Sorry about that, any of you guys viewing this that uh, might have played with us or anyone. Uh, us we're time. not, we're not basically mad. We get, of course, we, we do get frustrated here and there, but it's just nothing. We, we, we always, always, me and him are always good sports and we try to instill that, but hopefully it's, uh, we promise next time it won't happen again unless you're in a party. Well, that's fine, but. While promoting it, it wasn't probably the best move. But he's learned. I he definitely learned his lessons. I taught him. Anyways, check out our part two coming soon, and uh, we will see you then. And um, all right, let's get going. Sign in.